where we find Fox 17 News Temple Ricky, who is live at the scene. Temple, bring us up to speed. Do we know one what the semi was carrying? Two, if anything was spilling, and a clear time. AJ, a lot to tell you right now. We just got an update from Metro police officers. They're standing just off screen from you right now. And they told me going on behind us, work is underway to disconnect the tractor from the trailer. It's already pretty bent. It's pretty disheveled in a way that it's not going to be able to stand up with both, both pieces intact together. So they have to disconnect them. And the hope is to get one lane open in the next hour, hour and a half. This is going to be a long process. Part of that is because this tractor trailer was carrying 44,000 pounds of load. That doesn't include the weight of the truck. That is what was on the truck. I'm told it is wood, it is some furniture pieces as well. So most likely since the truck is torn, it will have to be offloaded by hand, which of course makes that process even longer. Another thing crews have to do is clean up the street. That's because it is very slick. When I was taking pictures of the scene earlier, I was walking on the street. Metro police officers warned me, hold steady with your foot placement because there there is oil, there is antifreeze all over the road from when that tractor trailer overturned. The good news is I did actually speak with the driver. He says he is not hurt. He is perfectly fine. And there were no other cars involved in this incident. So as of right now, no injuries reported. It looks like it's going to stay that way. And we will keep you updated if any clear time changes. But as for right now, the goal is to get one lane open in the next hour. Reporting in Nashville, I'm Temple Ricky, Fox 17 News, your Code Red Station.